Hey everybody, it's DWP712 making another tutorial, and this tutorial is making a budget sheet in Google Docs. So the first step in making your spreadsheet budget is you want to go down to cell A6. Just to clarify, we have our columns on top with the letters and our rows on the sides with the numbers and each box is a cell. This is cell A6. So in cell A6, what we're going to first type is our item. In B6, we are going to type the cost. C6, the quantity. And D6, we're going to write the total cost. Now up top in C1 we're going to type our budget. Under that in C2 we're going to write amount spent and uh, under that in C3 we're going to write amount remaining. Now as you can tell when I scroll down the top six cells go away but I don't want that in the spreadsheet in this budget sheet because it could make it a little confusing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grab this bar up here the bottom one and I'm gonna drag it right under six and I'm gonna drop it there what it did is it froze all the cells above cell six so when I scroll down cell six stays at the top so the first thing we're going to do is let's type in an example. So our item would be a bike. Let's say it costs $10. This cell I've already pre-formatted to currency, but if I didn't have it formatted to currency, it would just be a regular number, 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button as format as currency, and it turns it into an amount of currency. So let's say I want to buy five bikes. So my total cost will be, as you can tell, it's an easy problem, it's $50. But in this budget sheet, I want the computer to do my work for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and type in an equation. And this equation is going to be equals, that's how we start out every equation in a spreadsheet. You're going to click on B6, I mean B7 times B C7 and you're just going to press enter and it's going to work it out for you. Now this will probably be normal for everyone else since I've already preset it, but you're just going to click format as currency again. So our equation is B7 times C7 which is kind of logical which is the cost times the quantity equals our total cost. So if I change this to 6 it automatically goes up to sixty dollars. Now I want this equation to be the same multiplying these two together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this little box and once a little arrow, crossed arrows come up, I'm gonna click on it and drag it all the way down. And then I'm just gonna let go and as you can see it already fills it in with zeros but it already has its equation. Just it adjusts to the cells that it has in its row. So we're going to go back up to the top. Another thing we also want to do is we want to type a zero under the cost. It will appear normally. So we want to click format as currency. And we're just going to drag that all the way down to the bottom. So everything will be preset as currency. So when we type in our cost, it'll already be there. Drag that down a little more. Now if we go back to the top, up here we have our budget amount spent and amount remaining. So you can put in whatever budget you want. I'm going to type in 2000 Now, as, again, it will appear as a regular 2000 you want to click format as currency again 
Now for your amount spent, what it is is it's going to be all the total costs added up. Now it would be a hard time to do D7 plus D8 all the way down to 100. That's going to be too hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to type sum and then in parentheses click D7 and drag it all the way down to D100. And what that's going to do is it's going to be the sum of D adding together D7 through D100. And then all we have to do is close out with a parentheses sign, click off to the side, and it'll be normal. And all you have to do then is format as currency. Now for our amount remaining, this is going to be another easy equation. It's going to be equals D1 minus D2, which our budget minus the amount we spent will be amount we remain. So I'm going to press enter, and you're going to want to click format as currency again. Now, we've worked out all the equations, as you can see, and as you can see, it adjusts to when I change the uh, amounts I've put in on my spreadsheet. So Black Friday is coming up. So let's say I want to budget $2,000 on Black Friday. So I buy an Xbox. 360 for my nephew and those cost 300 300 dollars and I buy one of them it comes out to a total of 300 dollars and my amount spent and amount remaining already adjust now let's say I have two n nieces who need new bikes so I get a bike girl and each one of those costs fifty dollars and I buy two of them for my two nieces and comes out to a hundred and then the amount spent is four hundred changes to four hundred and the amount remaining changes to one thousand six hundred and it's gonna change for the rest of the way down well that's it for this budget sheet tutorial on Google Sp Docs spreadsheets I'm DWP thanks for watching